Clancy Ray Atkins was a loving, doting grandfather who enjoyed nothing more than spending time with his grandchildren. Things had not always been simple in his life. For the last three years, Mr. Atkins had been battling leukemia, and things were looking up as he entered into remission, and perhaps he was beginning to see a light at the end of the tunnel. On February the 4th, 2017, Mr. Atkins' girlfriend, Beverly, said goodbye to him as she was heading off to go to work. At around 6 p.m. that day, one of his sons stopped by the home and discovered the unimaginable. Clancy Ray Atkins, 54 years old, and grandfather of four, had been murdered. According to the news articles I was able to find, the family members that I spoke with said there didn't appear to be any struggle and that no items had been taken from the home. There was a bullet hole next to the front door. Another frustrating thing to note about this is that none of his neighbors saw any vehicles or anything coming or going from the home that day. They actually lived on a hillside with neighboring houses down below, so you'd think that neighbors would have heard an approaching vehicle, but no one reported seeing anything. How does someone manage to sneak up a driveway with a gun and gun down an innocent man and no one hears anything? And there's a picture here of how where he lived, and you would have to go past a couple of other homes to get up to his house. Now, this took place in Pike County, Kentucky, and I've heard about this man before. I've seen stuff about him on Facebook. There's actually a Facebook page about him. So, his family says, stop being quiet and stop hiding. Decide to do the decent thing and grow a pair and call the Kentucky State Police at 606-433-7711. Um, this took place in Coons Branch on Island Creek in Pike County, Kentucky. This is in the Pikeville, Kentucky area scene of the crime. Clancy Atkins was found murdered in his residence on Island Creek in Pike County. At the time of publication, this was dated October of 2017, nearly nine months after the homicide, authorities still have not named a suspect. I don't know the details about that. Was he found at the door? Did he go to the door to answer? a knock and someone shot him or did someone enter the home and shoot him i'd like to find a little bit more out about that i may have to reach out to someone there's a lot of posts on here about him just pictures of his um you know asking for help who killed me don't stay silent contact kentucky state police one more page here i'll click on and see what they've got this is called ForeverMissed.com, Clancy Ray Atkins. He was born February the 28th, 1963 in Pikeville, Kentucky, and he passed away February the 4th, 2017. Clancy was born to his parents, Pauline Compton and Carney Atkins. He was a retired bricklayer. He is survived by two sons and four brothers, and four grandchildren. He will be deeply missed by his wife and two children, and his grandchildren who adored him. It has been years since someone took his life, and still the police have not found out who killed him. His children and grandchildren won't get justice for his death. It's time for something to be done. Clancy Atkins had plans to prepare dinner and watch a UK game with his friends that evening, but that never happened. He was shot and killed in his home, leaving behind family, friends, and more questions. See, here's the, here's the answer I've been looking for. A shot was fired through his home on Coombe Branch of Island Creek, which family members believe was the shooter's way to get him to come to the door. He was then shot twice in the doorway. The exact details of that are still unsure. So, 
they believe someone fired a shot into his home and he gets up, goes to the door to see who fired a shot and then he shot twice at the doorway. Or is it possible that someone came to his door, maybe someone came up into his yard and it looked like he had a very narrow, small driveway so he may have heard a car or an ATV or something like that pull up and when he went to see who was at the door, they fired the shots from the distance. And then one missed him and went into the doorway. I'm not sure about that. I guess the police and the coroner were able to tell how close the person was standing to him when they fired the shots. And it doesn't say, I don't believe. I'll go back through this and read again, but I don't believe it said what kind of weapon it was. If it was a shotgun or a rifle or a pistol. The family has no idea who killed him. And they would like to see justice in this case. It feels like this case has just been set aside. Kentucky State Police are still investigating the murder. But the agency has followed all possible leads. You know, I'm not here to disparage the police. And I'm not here to, to badmouth the police. But if you think about it, um, there are a lot of cases in in the Pike County area that are that I'm sure all the family members feel the exact same way. The case of Jimmy Kelly, the case of Crystal Branham Hall, um, These cases, there's another one, an older one, Glenvere Osborne. I made a video about him. Um, and I'm sure there are a lot more that I can't think of right offhand. I know there's a few more missing women cases that I've been planning to do some videos about them. And the Kentucky State Police Post 9 in Pikeville also covers the Prestonsburg area. So you have Candy Gonzalez in Prestonsburg who went missing. There's so many in the area. And, they ha and I'm not saying the Pikeville and the state police haven't solved murders and crimes because I myself have seen some of these cases get solved. But there are a lot of others like this man and Crystal Hall, Jimmy Kelly, a lot of them. And it just seems like they just kind of go cold. Like I said, I'm not here to badmouth the police, but, you know, did the man have a problem with anybody? Was there anybody out there in the world who was just like, you know, I can't stand this guy, you know? Um, maybe they came there looking for somebody else. Maybe they thought one of his sons was there, did one of his sons, but, you know, if his children did not live at home with him, I don't think that anybody looking for them would have come there to his house. But sometimes people will target your family members to get back at you, you know. The leads have been followed out as far as they can at this point. The case will not be closed until it is solved, said Trooper William Petrie. It does appear with the length of time that we're not actually doing anything, but we are working on it. So to wrap this video up, I will just say that this is still an open investigation as far as I know. Um, I didn't reach out to anyone in this man's family or anyone for any more information. I did read through the Justice for Clancy Facebook page and I read through all the articles I could find online. To sum it up, this man was at home. His girlfriend had left that morning to go to work. At some point during that day, someone came there and fired shots into his home. I don't know if someone fired shots into the home or if they fired at him from the doorway. It, it doesn't say if he was found in the doorway with the doorway open or if it appeared that someone had come into the doorway, shot him, and then shut the door as they left. I don't know if they found any fingerprints or anything I couldn't find anything any details as far as that went but if anyone knows anything about this you can contact the Kentucky State Police in Pikeville Kentucky at post 9 606 
433-7711. Thanks for watching.